to the Delta drama aboard a flight from New York to Miami that was kept on the tarmac for hours. The long delay leading to a scuffle that brought police on board. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live at MIA to show us. Glenna. Those passengers, Nicole, finally landed here at 2.30 this morning. That seven-hour delay started with weather, became so much more and indefinite. And the people on board called it a nightmare that they started posting on social media in real time. He wants to go to the captain. He's a captain. He's flying. I need him. At the time of this video, the flight full of Miami bound passengers had already been sitting on this plane, sitting on the tarmac some seven hours, coming unhinged, as one of them put it. Listen to the pilot. But when things become physical and I'm hearing arguments and things being tossed around the co cabin uh, through a, a door, uh, we, we can't have that. That's not safe for. Delta Flight 2385 from New York's JFK was scheduled for departure 4 o'clock Thursday afternoon. The delay started with weather. Then there was a go back for refueling issue. At one point, the pilot said the ground crew had gone and he needed to call someone about it. In indefinite delay after delay, some passengers became aggressive enough for the crew to call in Port Authority police. Four armed officers boarded. We'll just kick the two passengers off who are creating the problem. In a crafted statement in response, Delta says customers were offered both water and snack service while on the tarmac and were also offered the chance to take a bus back to the terminal. What the statement does not say is that those who did could not reboard. As of about two years ago, there are federal regulations that say three hours on domestic flights is the limit that an airliner can keep passengers on the tarmac without offering them food or water or the chance to get off. Delta actually did or said they did all of those things and appears to be in compliance with those regulations. I'm Glenna Milberg, live at Miami International Today, Local 10 News.